Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Welcome to Smile to Jannah. Welcome. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Today we have a new guest with us today. We do. The brother. Oh, sorry, brother. The brother, mashallah, will be introducing himself. My name is To Hifzul. the viewers. Yes. My name. Smile to Jannah. Okay, yeah. Uh, my name is Hifsul and I run uh, a lot of employment support projects uh, to uh, help people get back into employment education or training. Uh, and I've come along here today to actually tell you what are the do's and don'ts about interviews, what are the things that you should really be uh, highlighting when you're in interview situations and what are the, some of the things that you should be avoiding. So yeah, enjoy the video, uh, inshallah you find it beneficial and uh, let us know, leave your comments and yeah, if there's any follow up videos videos that you want, let us know. Don't talk about Salah in the interview. At the interview stage, the thing you need to concentrate on the most is demonstrating that you can do the job. It's not to mention your Salah, not that your Salah isn't important, obviously it's the most important part of your Deen is your Salah, but it's making sure that that's accommodated within your work schedule and not your interview. Because if you get the job, then Alhamdulillah they'll accommodate that anyway. Hi, how are you doing Zisha? And you alright? Yes! So yeah, well, I'm sure you've read up about uh, Marcus Cleaners Limited. We've been running <coughs> for approximately about uh, 45 years. Uh, going very well, we're all over England at the moment. Uh, Basically, right. I'm gonna need Zohar off here. Yeah. Now, sorry, Zohar sorry. is... What's... Let me finish. 1.30 is Zohar time. It's Salah, prayer. But what's Then, your... I will need time off for the Asr Salah. The Asr prayer mid-afternoon then that? i will need the sunset prayer of that's from the maghrib that's salah i just want to know about what skills that you have to do this yeah i course. need juma off as well being humble in the interview doesn't help well, Alhamdulillah, being humble is, is, is a fantastic thing, uh, but there's appropriate times for you to be humble. And in an interview situation, you need to highlight all the things. You need to sing and shout, uh, not literally, sing and shout about all the fantastic things that you've done. And really show off the skill sets and make sure it's transferable skills. Actually, what have you done in your last job that really demonstrates what you can do and bring to this job? So Zishan, why should I hire you? What makes you special and what makes you different from anyone else? Ah, bas, alhamdulillah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, isn't it? Zishan, what, what did you do in your last job? What, what sort of things have you been doing? You know, you gotta stay humble. I don't really like uh, blowing my own flute. <laughs> but, but what did you, so, uh, yeah. what's your skill sets? What, what have you learnt from your last job? What have you taken away? What's your transferable skills that you've got, Zishan? Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> subhanallah. I need to know what skills you've got to do this job. Just uh, whatever comes my way, comes my way. Talk as though their job is the best. So any job that you go for, actually, whether you it's your number one job on your list or your number 10 job on the list, they have to believe that it's the job that you really want to do. And how, how, in what ways can you do that? Make sure you're enthusiastic in your interview. Make sure you're asking loads of questions in your interview. Make sure you're always smiling in your interview. The last thing that you want to do after leaving that interview is putting the job down. So Zishan, what, what, what made you apply for this job? It's a cleaning job, man. You know, there's a lot of jobs out there. Why have you chosen our company specifically? It's a cleaning job. We just got to do it, you know. Don't really have any other job, so you can do the cleaning job until I find something better. You, you could seem a bit happier, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When do I start, you know? When do I start this job? Are you feeling all right? It's clean, isn't it? What experience do I need to do some cleaning? Look! Just clean your table. I should get paid for this. How much you pay whoa, whoa, me for whoa, whoa. this? Calm down, Zishan. First of all, you missed a bit here and we have to see, we have to go through the process before we can tell you how much we're going to pay you or if we're even going to hire you. Let's get real with this. You can clean your laptop right here right now. I will clean this. Don't get angry if you don't get the job. So yeah, if, if, if you get a rejection from a job, then don't be disappointed, don't get angry, uh, don't be disheartened. There's plenty more opportunities out there for you and maybe this wasn't the right job for you. But one thing that you do make sure you do is you make sure you get that feedback. Actually, why didn't you get that job? What was it that you could have done differently yourself to give yourself a better opportunity? And, and make sure you use this stuff. Don't have it as stuff that just comes and goes. Actually, 
actually use that constructive feedback that you get from the interview and use that when you're moving forward. So make sure you don't make the same mistakes again. So Zishan, thank you very much for coming along today, interview the other day. You, you really had a fantastic interview. We were, we were really pleased with uh, a lot of the answers that you gave. Uh, it, you know, you really shone above uh, a lot of the other candidates that we had. But uh, unfortunately, uh, in, in this Are you occasion, winding me up? Uh, I'm unfortunately not. Uh, uh, in this occasion, it's a you weren't here. It, let's not get personal now, Zishan. <laughs> Zishan, calm down. It's okay. Just, go, just have a seat. Just have a seat. Just have a seat. It's okay. Just, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you know, you can you can reapply for the position sometime in the future. It's okay, Zishan. It's okay. Just, just. <laughs> if they ask about future plans, they mean within the company. So when they're asking you about career and, and where do you really see yourself in five years, actually what they probably really want to know is how much investment are you going to put into the company? Have you thought about the progression ladder within their company and where you're going to take it? And have you thought about investing your time within their company? So you know, stuff that you probably want to tell them and the stuff that they probably want to hear is actually, yeah, you know, within a few years time, uh, I'd like to be a supervisor, a manager, maybe run a store or whatever it is. Obviously relevant to the jobs that you're applying for. So Zishan, what, what, what's your plans for the future? Where, where do you really see yourself in five years time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I should be uh, planning to get a house or two, a wife or two, <laughs> wink wink, yeah. <laughs> Couple of kids, you know, a nice job. <laughs> Not your one, <laughs> you know, your one's just the time pass, isn't it? But okay. uh, yeah, you know, just progressing career, making the most of my life. No offense to you, mate, you know, cleaning's all right, but you know, you gotta do something with your life, you know. You Career gotta be, wise, uh, gotta be hungry. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. What were we talking about? There's no need to compromise the sunnah. Don't feel that you have to go to an interview and hide your sunnah. Don't, because the uh, HR process and the recruitment process these days is very fair and it's done on a competency level from one to five, dependent on the answers that you give them. They're not hiring you based on your looks, based on your beard, based on your hat, however you go to the interview. They're hiring you on your credentials and your experiences. Hello mate, hello mate. Uh, My job interview mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, you, you yeah, 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 it's all good. No, no, it's fine. Look, I am your father. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got my name? You got my name, Dave? Yeah, uh, Dave, Dave? Dave? Australian Dave? Zishan. Yeah, stick something on the barbie. Are you, sorry. It's Dave, it's Dave. That's you. No, no, no. no, no. I've got a picture. Okay. What? I've got a picture. A what? A what? A what? Obviously, you're not going to go to an interview dressed in your uh, kurta pajama, let's say. Uh, uh, obviously, make sure you always dress smart. Make sure you're dressed for the uh, uh, part. Someone actually once told me, always dress for the job that you want. You can never be too smart. If you've if you if you've got a shirt and a trouser and you can put on a tie, put on a tie. If you've got a suit, put on a suit. You'd rather be overdressed than underdressed in any interview. And, and don't feel that you have to compromise your deen uh, for a job, because alhamdulillah, all rizq comes from Allah and everything you know happens by the will of Allah but your beard there's there's nothing wrong with having a beard there's there's other people that have a beard within the workplace and they're not even Muslim great bits that we really enjoyed about your interview uh, but unfortunately what? <laughs> you really stood out uh, from <laughs> my noise coming again would you like to introduce yourself brother? yes can let go now. Yeah. Uh, my name is Viu. Smart, smart. You know, you really had a fantastic interview. You did, you did really shone above uh, uh, a lot of the uh, other <laughs> candidates. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. We have a new. What? Huh? Me up. This just just this time round. <laughs> Here's some extra interview advice. Yeah, so uh, when, when, whenever you're going to interview, there's, there's a few key things that actually you really need to take into consideration. Uh, first and foremost, first impressions count for a lot. So when you walk through that door, make sure that impression that you give them is a fantastic one and, and is one that is uh, uh, highlighting you to the best of your abilities. So make sure you're dressed well, make sure you present yourself, make sure you shake people's hand, make sure you're making eye contact when you're, when you're throughout your interview as well. Uh, make sure when they're asking you,
asking you questions. Questions like, what, can you give us an example uh, of when you've done, uh, given great customer service? These are competency-based questions. They want to know about a work situation where you can actually demonstrate that. And, and whenever they're asking you any questions that are competency-based, make sure you remember three points. And these, this is going to be the most important thing that I'm going to tell you today, is actually three points. Uh, and these three points are, what was the situation? What did you do directly to influence the outcome? And what was the outcome itself? So if they ask you about when did you provide good customer service, always just think three points. Actually, what was the situation? What did you do? And what was the outcome? That's all they want to know. And that's the thing that they'll be marking you on. Uh, so make sure you round off your answers. Make sure you always just highlight the three main things. And actually, that gives you opportunity to add more stuff to your interview. So you don't have to give one answer that takes four minutes. You can give three or four answers that take about 20 to 30 seconds each. Uh, make sure anything that they're asking you, make sure you relate it back to uh, a situation within work where actually it highlights the stuff that you done and not anyone else is done make sure when they're asking you even when they ask you questions about can you give us an example of when you've worked in a team uh, to resolve a problem actually yes they want to know about how you work in a team but actually they also want to see how, how can you lead that lead that team and can you highlight any uh, uh, skills of leadership so when they ask you about team stuff always say well yes we had a problem within a team uh, this is what I done I organized everyone uh, I done the road I done this I done that and this resolved in us solving the problem make sure you they, even when they ask you team questions actually they really want to know about you you personally with regards to shaking hands, uh, we know shaking hands uh, with the opposite sex uh, uh, within the sunnah is not permitted. But there's ways around this. You don't have to feel uncomfortable. Actually, these days, in, in, in the work environment, a lot of people are, are, are aware of different people's beliefs and the requirements for them to fulfill them beliefs. So don't feel uncomfortable. If it means just, uh, just a gesture of, of goodwill to say, yes, you acknowledge them, they acknowledge you, that's perfectly all right. Don't feel that you have to compromise your dean in order for you to fulfill another need within the work environment just relax feel comfortable it's fine whenever you're uh, working and, uh, and mapping out your interview if you know where your interview is located do that journey see how long it takes you to get there in a rush hour time if it takes you an hour and a half give yourself two hours give yourself more than enough time for you to uh, get to that interview with plenty of time to spare in order for you to relax have a glass of water if you need to and really get yourself ready for the interview make sure and and it's vital and and it's very surprising how many people uh, don't do it these days but you need to research the company make sure you know about their company make sure you you and, and and it's easy as going on Google and typing in the company name and remember the key facts you know what what's what's the what what are they trying to achieve within this company and how can you add to that that's what they really want to know what are they really trying to achieve where what are they the market leaders do they want to be the market leaders how can you support them in doing these stuff so whenever you're applying for a job there'll be uh, essential skills and there'll be desirable skills uh, make sure whatever you do you meet all the essential requirements uh, and the best way to do this and demonstrate it within a work environment or within an interview environment is bullet point each point and relate it back to a work situation where you've actually done that uh, and, and and then you can add the other bits that actually build it into a story but make sure you highlight that the essential parts that are needed within that job that you are capable of doing them even if it's a telephone interview smile does it kill you to smile no <laughs> you can smile to Jannah as well can't you yeah <laughs> uh, so make sure you're always smiling because actually people can tell the difference whether you're smiling down the phone or you're not I know it sounds silly actually go away and try it speak speak uh, uh, without smiling and then speak without with smiling there's a huge difference you can notice the difference when you smile it, you, there's more enthusiasm about yourself and actually these two muscles in your body are probably the smallest muscles but actually if you use them too much Muscles, you'll achieve to a lot and you might even smile to Jannah. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you like this video, let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for another video with this brother on CV making.